Hello and welcome back to Teachers Helpers videos. This video is designed to help students, teachers, and parents understand how to divide with a one digit versus four digits and two digits by three or four digits using standard algorithm. By the end of this video, you will be able to divide multiple digits. Please know that it is important to know your multiplication facts and adding and subtracting prior to dividing. I want you to please check out my other math videos and please give this video a like, subscribe, and comment below. Let's review a few vocabulary words before we get started. Our first word is divisor. Divisor is a number by which another number is to be divided. This is the number on the outside of the division bracket. Our second vocabulary word is dividend. Dividend is the large number that is separated into smaller groups. All right, our quotient is the answer in a division problem and the remainder is the amount left over after dividing. Now that we reviewed and understand the vocabulary, Let's get started with our first problem. We have 390 divided by 15. We will write out division problems like this. To make dividing easier, you can list the facts for 15 on the side of your paper. The first thing to do is to ask yourself, how many times can 15 go into 3? None. Move to the next digit and ask yourself, how many times can 15 go into 39? Well, looking at our math facts, we have 15 times two is 30, and 15 times three is 45. So 15 goes into 39 two times. Place the two on top. I like to add the X or multiplication symbol on the side to remind me that I need to multiply the divisor by the number on top and subtract. Our next step is to subtract 30 from 39 because we determine that 15 goes into 39 two times. Now take two times 15 and subtract that from 39. So basically the steps are to divide by the digit on top, multiply and subtract below and repeat. So to continue with this problem, when we subtract, we get nine. Now bring down the digit and the dividend that we have not divided yet. We will bring down the zero to make 90. Follow the steps. How many times does 15 go into 90? Well, 15 times 4 equals 60, 15 times 5 equals 75, and 15 times 6 equals 90. So 15 goes into 90 six times. Add the 6 on top. There is no remainder, and once you get a 0 at the bottom, you are done. So 390 divided by 15 equals 26. So let's review our easy steps. We divide, multiply, subtract, bring the number down, and re repeat. Memorize this or write it on your paper so that you can remember the steps. Let's try another example. 4,439 divided by 23. You can list facts for 23 by doing repeated addition. Let's follow our steps. Our first step is to divide. How many times does 23 go into 44? One time. Now put the one above 44 and multiply. Of course, 23 times one equals 23. Now we're gonna follow our third step, which is to subtract 44 minus 23 is 21. Our fourth step is to bring down the number, which is three, so we have 213. 
Now we're going to repeat. How many times does 23 go into 213? Well, 23 times 2 equals 46. 23 times 3 is 69. And 23 times 6 is 138. Let's go higher to 23 times 9, which is 207. So 23 goes into 213 nine times and put the 9 on top. Multiply like we did in the previous steps, which gives us 207. 213 minus 207 is 6. Bring down the last number of 9. So we have 19 on the top so far. How many times does 23 go into 69? Using our multiplication facts from before, it goes in 3 times. Put the 3 on top, and if you subtract at the bottom, we get 0. So our answer is 193. One more example. I will be silent for a few minutes and reveal the answers after a few minutes. Check to see if you get the same answer as me.